Good morning, folks. I had a desire to watch the sun come up at El Dorado Lake this morning. So watching the sun come up, I wanted to share daily bread. Happy May Day. The title of today is Our Daily Bread. Is Living in the Branches. Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. That's Ephesians 3.17. writer today says as I shared with my counselor my roller coaster of emotions after a stress-filled week she listened thoughtfully then she invited me to look out the window at the trees lush with autumn oranges and golds the branches swaying in the wind pointing out that the trunks weren't moving at all in the wind my counselor explained, we're a bit like that when life is blowing at us from every direction. Of course, our emotions will go up and down and all around. But sometimes we live as if we only have branches. Our goal is to help you find your own trunk. That way, even when life is pulling from all sides, you won't be living in your branches you'll still be secure and stable. It's an image that stuck with me and it's similar to the image Paul offered new believers in Ephesians, reminding them of God's incredible gift, a new life of tremendous purpose and value. Read Ephesians 2 verses 6 through 10. Paul shared his longing that they'd become deeply rooted and established in Christ's love, no longer blown here and there by every wind of teaching. Ephesians 4.14 On our own, it's easy to feel insecure and fragile, pummeled by fears and insecurities. But as we grow in our true identity in Christ, we can experience deep peace with God each and each other nourished and sustained by Christ's power and beauty. That was written by Monica LaRose. And her reflection and prayer is this, Jesus, thank you for the overwhelming good news that the strength needed to withstand life's cha challenges isn't our own. Help us to grow ever deeper roots in your love and place in your family. She asked, when do you feel blown here and there by life's challenges? And how might remembering your identity in Jesus encourage and strengthen you? Some wonderful things to think about this morning as we watch the sun come up. I'm reminded in the midst of life's storms 
in the midst of the changing and what people have described the new normal that uh, the sun comes up God paints a postcard every morning one of my favorite things to do and one of my favorite things to take pictures of are windmills and sunrises and sunsets because the windmill is taking what God has given us each day and making power from it and the sunrise reminds us that uh, who's in charge I'll remind you that uh, we will be doing communion this Sunday and for those of you who will be participating at home I would ask you to find some small amount of bread and juice that while we participate in that together on Sunday morning you may join us through the living presence of Christ as a follower of Christ in remembering the one of the greatest charges Jesus gave us is to remember what he did for us on the cross each and every time that's a body of believers until he's with us again and he is with us through the Holy Spirit it's, it's windy out here and I, I'm hoping I'm far enough away from some campers that are several yards away that I'm not disturbing them. I woke up early this morning and I had not done this for a while. I see the birds flying with the sunrise as a backdrop. There's some sort of tower distance there flashing its lights again even that tower is picking up uh, signals only by the way what God has put in place in our earth I'm going to be quiet now and watch this sunrise with you as much as possible until the the color goes away and the sky just gets really bright. Jesus loves you. Have a fantastic day.
loves you.